No. So did you make her that your friend? I don't make female friends. <laughs> I wish I could. It's not because I don't want to. I just can't. Can't in your sense or can't in their sense? I don't fall in love. Oh, so <laughs> and I, see, because niggas are gonna think I'm talking cocky, bro. I promise you, bro. Every single time I'm friends with a female, it doesn't work out, bro. Every single one. It's terrible. It's really it's awful because I I really enjoy. You probably, you probably flirt by accident. Yeah, <laughs> but like you know, I don't mean to. Like, it's all jokes, because I mean, I tell everybody to suck my dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regs Podcast, episode number, oh shit, 96. I'm your host, DJ, aka Darius, and I got another one of my co-hosts with me, my brother JR with me. Say what's good to the fellas. What's good, gang? Let's get it out the way. Fritzler? Yeah, you just even watch. He does. Man, fuck Fritz. He got mad at Corey for saying his full name, because not everybody knows his full name now. Oh, like his full his last name? No, like Fritz. Oh, I just said it. My <laughs> fault, <know>. Fritz Lee. <laughs> fuck him. Hey. Uh, fuck UJ as well, and London's on the track. Much love. And we're uh, we're set off. This is, I thought that was only a one-time thing. Nah. <laughs> love that. Love her for real, bro. No hey, gap. Bro, thank you for supporting the podcast. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, follow the socials. Follow us on Patreon. No reg. Uh, Patreon. dot com forward slash No Regulars Podcast. We already got one episode up. We got another episode with Jason, uh, UJ, and Tyrone. If you want to see that one, I'll cut, be coming up maybe next weekend, next Sunday, because y'all gonna see this this Sunday. And uh, yeah, subscribe to that. Five dollars only. It's nothing much, you know. Support the channel for all the stuff we're doing for y'all. We got more stuff. It's the summertime, people, so there's gonna be a lot more content going up every day. And we're four more episodes away from episode 100. So tune into that. Tune into all that stuff. And yeah, bro. So we, uh, this is my first podcast in like like about like a week and a half, bro. It feels good to be back. Yeah, has it been that long for real? Yeah, I, I went on a. So people, y'all know, I was on a cruise. I left last Tuesday, so it's been like a good. It's been a good minute. Yeah, nah, for real. I didn't even know you were going, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't tell like, you? I was like, where's Darius at? <laughs> you said he's on a cruise, huh? I definitely told you. You probably did. I just didn't remember. Oh, okay, okay. Nah, but we went on a cruise on Tuesday. I ain't gonna lie. It was pretty fun. I think everybody should experience a cruise one time. No, nah, I really would like... Well, I've been on a boat before. I didn't like it, though. But I, I feel like it would be... Where'd y'all go, though? We went, we went to Puerto Rico. Oh, my God. St. Thomas, and then Grand Turk. So it was like Turks and Caicos. And, wait, you said you've been... Is. It's like a, it's like a one of the little Caribbean islands and mm. shit. But you say you've been on a boat. You talking about like a like a like in the art, like in the military. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Nigga. That, that shit's gonna terrible. be bad. What the hell? But wait, was it like in the middle of the ocean or you was just docked? No, we were in the middle of the ocean. Which ocean? Do you remember Pacific? If we were if we were out of California, then yeah, it would be the Atlantic. Then right, Atlantic's on the west side. No, no, this we're by the Atlantic. We're Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. Yeah. Damn. I can't imagine. How long are you on the boat for? Like two months. Oh, two months? Damn, bro. Nah, this is nothing like that, bro. This shit was fun. I'm curious about cruise ships. Is it really big? Like, it was a big? Uh, I'm imagining, right? If it has rooms and like everything. Yeah, it's it was. Be big. I, it's big. It was not as big as I thought it would be, mm-hmm. but it was still a pretty big. Like, there was like, I think 15 floors. Yeah, that's insane. That's massive. Yeah. No, but, it's not that big. No, no, because I was. as fuck, bro. bro. I'm thinking. It was on one cruise talking about it's not that big, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm thinking it's going to be like some. some SS Tipton type of shit. That shit was a huge ass. <laughs> That's that, a show. I know, but that shit looked huge. <laughs> nah, but, yeah. but, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, that shit, like, the ship, like, the, how it was run is the same thing how it is in, like, like, um, the TV show, like, on the show and, like, in real life of a cruise. Cause, you know, there's a, there's a cruise director, like, Mr. Mosby. <laughs> there's a nigga, like, Mr. Mosby that does all, you know how Mr. Mosby, there's, like, different nights, yeah. or, like, like, uh, theme nights. Yeah. That's how it is. That's tough, though. Yeah, it was fun. We had, I remember first night. For the first, the only thing was the first first night, like at sea, it was kind of rough because like that was the first time like we was like we're not accustomed to like the waves and shit. No, so I was gonna ask you, did you? Because it's a bigger boat, do you actually feel it rocking yeah. when you're in bed and shit like that? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That exists mm-hmm. for y'all. Yeah, oh, you still wow. feel it. I didn't think so. Yeah, it was it was maybe just because we went we went through a storm low key in the middle of the night, <laughs> and like Jay, I didn't I was asleep, but Jay said she woke up and she felt like the rocking. And it was like it was like rocking a lot. I like that though. What the rock? I felt very comfortable when I was laying down. Like it would rock like this. I liked it. You did? Yeah, a lot. But like, how about if you're walking around? Um, that's a bit weird. That's yeah, what I'm that's saying. That's a bit weird to walk with. But like, 
You get used to it. You get that's what I'm saying. You get like after, my sea legs, <laughs> land lover. <laughs> no, it was just like the first day I had to I had to take like the little dopamine whatever that shit called. Mm. So I took that, and then after after that it was a little better. But then once we got to Puerto Rico and got on land, and then we went to the other, it was like it wasn't that bad. Like I barely felt anything, but like. What a um yeah it was just that that was I remember we was playing basketball and I would go up to jump and like the boat would yeah. shift and now you could feel like the, I'm like what the fuck like if I'm about to bust my ass or some that shit shit's tough yeah um, but yeah it was cool though like we had we did yo we had a we was in a pickleball tournament nah yeah me and J- yo we freaking lost to these two two uh, two grown men that brought their paddles. <laughs> Try hards. I'm talking about he. They're playing like we're playing actual pickleball. Like yeah. you know how we play. We yeah. play like a like the full tennis yeah, court. Tennis, yeah. No, we're playing the little shits. Oh, no. So it was kind of hard hitting it back. Yeah. But bro, we had game point. It was six five, and like his family's behind us, like cheering him on. There's yeah. like twelve of them talking shit, and me and Jay's like, all right, we gotta lock in. So Jay serves it, and it hits the line, but it's on the inside mm. part. And the guy that plays, he was like, yeah, he's he was not like, jacking that. No, no, he said it was in, but oh, the really? lady didn't see it. And she was like, it was out. And then he didn't say nothing after that. I'm like, wow. And then I guess. No integrity being a pro pickleball player. That's bro? what I'm saying. He Give up your paddles, bro. Hold us, bro. <laughs> Put the paddles up. And then I didn't know like in pickleball. So like say, like say it's there, like she missed a serve, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's the next person serve. Really? Yeah. That's how we was playing. So it's like, say you serve and miss, yeah. then it'll be my turn. Oh. And then we that. get like, it's like another chance. Oh, that's tough. Yeah. So it wasn't that bad, but oh my God. Like we wanted, I wanted to win so bad. There was niggas watching. Hell I was yeah. so pissed. I was like, doing yeah. so mid, bro. You, you asked. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You can't win on a small court. I already told you, you're not seeing me on a small court. Nigga, there's a hit this shit far as fuck. I can run. I'm not doing all that. Bro, it wasn't my fault. You got to think about the the boat and the wind. The ball would stop. It would bounce and not bounce this way. It will bounce up. Oh, was it outside court? Yeah, it was outside mm-hmm. court. So that shit was mid. And then I was playing basketball. So I was playing basketball a couple of times, but I had to stop because I was getting hurt. I was like, I freaking, <laughs> I bit my tongue. Oh. And then the next time I was playing, I freaking cut my toe because I like my toenails were too oh, long. Yeah. It scratched the inside yeah. of my shit. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm not, I'm yeah, done. Yeah, nah, fuck all that. And then I'm like, I remember there was like a, it was like a three on three tournament. But before that, I I was playing basketball with this. I called next. Yeah. So I haven't played. Ba- I don't really play. Ba- I don't play basketball like that no more. People, I just be chilling. He's fat now. Nah, yeah, I- <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I be in the gym. But so there was a there was this, there was these guys and they beat him. I guess like eleven mm-hmm. zero. So I'm like, right, I got next. He's like, all right. And I'm like, he's like, you got your five, four. I was like, yeah, I got my four. He's like, oh well, you need, you might need, even if you had LeBron and Steph Curry, I don't think you'll win. Fuck this nigga. I said, who the fuck? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, who is this guy? Niggas already starting with me because niggas yeah. know how I get. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Fine. So now I'm guarding this nigga. I'm playing defense, and this nigga thinks I'm fouling the whole time. That's how I know this nigga's ass. So pussy. That's how I know this nigga's ass. So I'm like, all right. And then, yo, when I tell you, he passed the ball, and he looks at his arm because I because he said I fouled him. He looked at his arm for a good 45 (laughs) seconds. I swear to God, I'm looking at this nigga, and he's like, I we have the ball, and he's guarding me, and I could have shot. I'm like, wait, hold on. (laughs) Nigga was went in the corner and was like looking at his arm like he got hurt. I'm like, all right, bro. Niggas is talking about LeBron and Steph Curry, then looking at your arm for 45 seconds is crazy, bro. How pussy are you? (laughs) What the fuck? Niggas is weird, bro. And then so so then I made a couple layups, and then he asked me, he's like, yo, you from the you from the towns? I said towns. Like, what does that mean? He was like, "Oh no, like like the city." I'm like, "I mean, I'm I'm like where my tent was like around Newark, mm. if like if that makes sense." He was like, oh, "Okay, like I'm from UNC." I'm like, "Okay." I was like, "And I know some people from UNC High School. Mm. Like I think he played basketball." Mm. I was like, "Oh, uh, you went to UNC High School?" He's like, "No, I went to Randolph." <laughs> I said, "Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> he's a goat, bro. Nah, fuck that. He's a goat, bro. And it pissed me off because he was like, All right, "I'm gonna get my shoes now." We lost too because why? Some nigga, you some asked. no, no, it wasn't me. So I, the nigga that was scoring was scoring on the other dude that. I was ass mm. and I'm like I don't want to switch and then this nigga get hyped and start making shots I'm like alright you know what fuck it I'm gonna lose he went to go get his shoes I'm, I'm about to play his nigga again he's like nah we picking up on my team I'm like oh my god y'all <laughs> niggas that scary and then once he picked me up on his team this nigga want to shoot make all these shots everybody gas him up I'm like oh wow <laughs> god, god just know he's saving my ass today but other than that, it was cool. We did. There was a lot of comedy clubs we went to. Mm, and yeah, that's why that on your story. Yeah, com- the comedy club is pretty good. Was it actually, bro? No, no, no. The or fr- was the liquor hit? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> no this nigga posted a story with the most mid music I've ever heard in my life. He said, "Bro, is this hitting or is the liquor hitting?" <laughs> nigga, the liquor was smacking, boy. That shit was hitting. 
<laughs> Yo, it was some <laughs> great tunes, bro. It was some nah, great bro, music. That was a jazz bro. band, bro. Nah, bro. They was playing some heat. Nah. Bro, I was, no. Oh, my gosh, bro. They they had, like, some Spanish group. And, like, they had a Spanish group. They had a regular band. And then they had they had uh, DJs and shit like that. That was bar. So, like, the first, so the first two, two nights, they had two comedians. And then once we docked, then two more came on. So the first oh, two, they was good. It was they was they was funny, but then the next two they wasn't as funny. Like I like one of the guys, he was kind of chips, and I felt bad because like, I see him on TikTok. Like, he he was getting laughs. He wasn't. He was like trying to. It was like pity laughs. Damn. It was pity laughs. It was pity laughs. That's tough. I would have left. That would have yeah. been uncomfortable. And I, felt, I felt so bad, but it wasn't like he was bad. It was just like he was. He would be like, "Oh, I got more jokes for y'all." Like it wasn't flowing. Like he would do some <laughs> shit like that. He like, "Damn, bro, what?" A... I know. I remember. So it was. He, so <laughs> I got more jokes for y'all. It's crazy. <laughs> so it was the first day, and he, the first day he was on, he did a show, and then the next day another guy came. It was an older guy. Yo, the line was all the way. It was a big ass line. He was like, and we walked past the the the, the other community. He was like, "Dang, man, I wish I had a crowd like this." He was like, all these people didn't show for me. My last show was barely filled. I'm like, damn, I felt so bad. You gotta stop doing you gotta stop doing comedy, bro. Yo, I felt so bad for cause but I, hey bro, if you watching this shit, I got one I got one of his wristbands, bro. It says it's called Fit the Shapes. It's cool. Hey bro, quit the career. <laughs> <laughs> quit the career. I like the I like the meaning of the wristband though. I like the meaning. He said cause nah, he did he did one joke talking about like mentally disabled people. It was kind of funny, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they would have got my ass. He would have got me, bro. Nah, the ones there was another joke. It was in the beginning. He said we was they was talking about couples and like dating and shit and like these these uh old ladies were laughing in front. He was like he was like why the hell are you laugh? Your, your husband's probably all dead. I said oh <laughs> shit that shit had me That's crying. Crazy. That's crazy. That was some funny shit. I was like okay you got me. But chances are likely. <laughs> nah that shit was crazy, bro. I was like nah, but like nah it was uh, we did that. We had there was like a little silent little little silent party with the headphones and shit like oh, that. Oh, that's just actually really fun. I didn't know it was that fun. That's yo. just actually mad fun. I went to one in Keene, I actually had a great time. I didn't think I was gonna have fun at all. Bro. It's very fun. Did you have one DJ? Um no no no, it was three. Oh, it was three. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Cause I always I, I thought it was one DJ. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. But then when it came out, they had two of them. So like it was me, Jay, and my dad. So like my dad, they would play like some because there was a lot of like older people. Yeah. So they'll play like you know funk town music, yeah. all that shit, and they'll be playing that. And then we can listen to our rap music. And yeah. I, I thought it was cool. I was that's like, just, yeah, it's really fun. That's a lot more. Switch between stations is fire. Yeah, bro. I didn't know. You, I thought it was just one thing. Nah, that's really to. cool, bro. I'm nah, that shit was. I think the the food was cool too though. I was eating sushi all the time, bro. But yeah. it was it was like fuck sushi. Bro. It, it's yeah. not it's not the raw sushi though. It's like the, it's not the real sushi. I don't like sushi. I, it's like did you ever try? You tried? No, you probably did try. You tried? I, no, I, like, I've tried like I what do I have? I think I had like raw salmon and fucking. Did you try the cook shit? Like I don't think the, I've ever tried cook. No, because that shit just turned me off so much. I was like fuck this. Yeah. I think you'll like the, the like the shrimp tempura one. That shit was rocking, mm. bro. I told him take all, all the avocados and cucumbers, just put shrimp in there. That shit was so That's good. That's kind of gas. That shit was fire though. But I like the cruise though. It was cool people. So, like I think I met a couple people on the cruise. I say what's up to. I met this one dude. He uh online and breakfast. I guess he like edits podcasts for one guy. I was gonna oh, really? I, I was gonna hit him up if you want to go if you want to help me out. But then I didn't see him at the end. Mm. So it was cool though. So people, if you want to go on a cruise, do a cruise. I feel like everybody should do a cruise. It's more fun than it looks. But yeah, bro. That's fire. You so, got a passport? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Bro, it's easy to get a passport. Nah, bro. I need to. Yeah, I need. I need a passport ASAP, bro. I need one just... ASAP. Cause I don't know what to do, bro. I heard that shit's like two hundred. You gotta wait a month to even talk to the post office. You gotta schedule a fucking appointment. You literally just like max. Get, you literally just have to like. I serve my fucking country, nigga. <laughs> Where fuck my passport at, bro? Don't you have one? No. Oh, you didn't get one when you was in the military. No, we used government orders to travel. Oh, but I mean, look, you literally <coughs> only you just have to order it. And then it'll cost like $200 and it'll probably yeah. take like 30, 30, 30 days to get here. Maybe a little longer. But think about it. You don't have to get another one for another 10 years. No, you're right. But I'm trying to leave the country, bro. Yeah, I know why, bro. <laughs> <sighs> niggas, is, niggas is niggas, bro. Niggas will forever be niggas, bro. Mm -mm. But, oh, man. What we got? I got I got some things we can talk about today, brother. Let's talk. So, have you seen what's been going on on Twitter lately about some recent events? Um, no, I don't use Twitter, actually. Oh, I don't know really? how to use it. I'm like an old man when it comes to Twitter. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. You should get threads, though. There's a new no, thing called threads. No, bro. No, Elon Musk trying to sue them, <laughs> is what I saw. <laughs> hey, bro. Niggas, the rich just, niggas just want money. Hell yeah. Day. But, hey, niggas not going to sue on Instagram. Niggas, that shit going, we'll see how it goes. I might make one for no regulars. If you want that shit, want updates, we got that. That'd but, be cool, though. Type shit, type shit. But, I want to talk about, you heard about what's going on with Adam22 and his wife, bro? 
Oh, that nigga's a fucking weirdo, nigga. All right. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. So fucking weird. What like, you- <laughs> so now, so if y'all don't know, if y'all Pussy, people bro. don't know what's going on, Adam Twenty Two has a wife. Was what's her name? Lena Paul, right? I don't know her name. Whatever her name, Lena, that. Lena the plug, whatever the fuck her name is. They both we can't say the word. So corn stars, but I guess supposedly he let her have sex with another man, which is not just a normal man. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, the star, corn star, a well-known guy in the industry, Big old dude, B- black dude, black dude is crazy. So <laughs> I heard about it, and then I saw the pictures of like his wife and her, him. Yeah, that shit is crazy. How do you look at that? Exactly. How do you look at that? I, okay, so now I just think, and then they was talking about. They was like, "Yo, so how are you gonna? This is the first time your wife had sex with anybody else other than you for a while, bro." So now, how you think she gonna think? That's what I'm saying she ain't gonna want you. It's, uh, it's that I just think, I feel like, cause I think the way, reason why he did it is cause I guess they be doing it to so many girls and he never let her do it with a guy. So yeah, I, but I don't care. That's what I'm like, saying. At I, that I, point, I don't just don't do it no that's more girls. Like, why wouldn't you just, just one, stop? Stop exactly. Or two, don't be together anymore, bro. That's what I'm saying. Just like, be sexual partners, bro. That's it. Don't just, be in a relationship. And they got a kid, bro. Like, I they have a kid. Yeah, they have a kid. She's like four or five. That is terrible, bro. Yeah. That kid is getting cooked. Yeah, bro. It's so bad. It's so bad. Niggas bro. are sick. Like the, j- the jokes that they're making of this man, I feel bad. But it's good. It's only, it's good. His, bully it's this nigga till he dies. It's bro. his own bully fault, him. bro. Nah, bully that nigga. He's a bitch. That's <laughs> bitch made shit. I don't care. You pussy. I don't think I would ever, bro. Nah, no, he's don't weird. Think I would. Ever. That's so bad, bro. No, Just terrible. thinking about that. Just imagine that night. No, I couldn't. That night she walks off. Do you think he kicked her out the room, bro? Imagine it was in her crib. I'm shooting up everybody, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm shooting everybody up, bro. Like, I don't care how much arguing. At that moment, if she want, like, you just got to be like, you know, now we, we're done with all this shit. If you, you want to go do all that weird You know shit. who Chris Benoit is? Yeah. The one you know, that. You know what he did? Yes. That's me. That's you? <laughs> yes. Everybody in the family. Everybody's getting it. Fuck my shit. Oh, my gosh, bro. Like, it's really, like, I just don't understand. Like, I understand, like, you want to do it for the OFs or whatever content. But there's different ways of content. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's, like, you can't be, like, you guys, they're, like, they're married. The married kid is insane. And the kid. That. And, like, nah. Like, well, under no circumstance. Because now, because now after she had this experience, now she's thinking about it. And now she will forever. She look. was excited. Exactly. Fuck that. It wasn't just, like, content for business reasons. She was excited. Oh she was looking gosh. forward to it. She said she finally got this. She finally it. finessed it's this crazy. Thing Finally is a crazy word to use. You think you think Adam's going through it like mentally? I what hope you think? so. You think you hope so? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> no peace for that nah, nigga. Nah, because he's an idiot. Oh my gosh, bro! Like I can understand. No, I can't understand at all. Never mind. I can't understand at all. Not in that industry. Because even, even like you know that one girl that that Asian girl that they say they they're in a like even people that be saying they're they're an open relationship stupid and you're that's weird that's the that's the weirdest Honestly, if you're if you're a viewer and you're watching this and you're in an open relationship you're a fucking freak that's some you're weird a freak that's some weird ass shit because yeah. one i wouldn't want my like girl to have that type of mentality if i'm a married this woman i don't want you to go around sleeping with other niggas it's terrible like, it's even, really like, terrible even if like you allow me to do I'm not doing that shit Nah why would I Exactly like What's the point of me being in a relationship Exactly What's the point That's what I'm saying Like it's so That's like the That's one of the weirdest things I ever heard about that And like the little The You ever Like the The poly I was just about to say this Yeah bro. I have a fucking co-worker right No way I swear to God Her name Well let me not name drop her Yeah yeah I doubt she'll watch it I doubt she'll ever see this I'm sorry if you do You're a great You're a great person I'm gonna let you know That you're a great person but you're a freak because, <laughs> bro, she's talking about how she's moving, right? Yeah. Whatever, you know, she's the type to just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And talk. Yeah, you no problem. Why not? Right? She's like, yeah, I'm moving in next week. Oh, I'm moving in with my partners. I said, hmm? Partner. I, was like, I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> she's like, yeah, my boyfriend and my girlfriend. I said, huh? <laughs> bro, these people were a couple and they invited her in. Really? To be in like a relationship a thru- with them. Like, and they have like, like a thruple, whatever yeah. that shit's called. <clears throat> See? That's that's really weird. Is that weird. not insane? That's really weird. That's fucking nuts. Like, that's really weird. You have to just not, like... I, I value get, yourself. I, I guess what I'm saying. You have no value. I don't care. No. I don't give a fuck. Because, like, think about it. Like, And it's not even jealousy or insecurity at this point. Like, if I'm with someone, right? Mm-hmm. 
how do I know you don't like this person more than me now? Exactly. Why do you need me in the relationship? Or like, it's, it's, it's you can't balance it. I don't give a fuck. There's always gonna be people that like each other more than the others. Like, you can't balance it. You that's can't. what I'm saying. So just imagine the you got two women in the house. Yeah. That's yeah, I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> nah, bro. Based off what I've experienced, that can't work. Nah, hell no. I, it's just I just feel like that shit. Like, cause like there's this one couple that me and JB watching on TikTok. I forgot. They're they were they were uh. Uh, like a poly whatever relationship you probably see my take it was like it's like the black dude two yeah, black girls yeah, yeah. and they always go online trying to convince people like how this is normal yeah. but it's like but I think one of the one of the girls one of the girls left Good. because supposedly she was getting abused or something like that and the other one like they're like she's like what's the what's the word is it pampering or sugar baby no what's that word called it's like grooming Groomed, yeah, you like, know, what groomed is. Is it like when they're younger? Yes, like, yeah, be- like it's like it's a it just sounds like this is a hypothetical. I've never done this, I would never do it. It's like if I went, if I was in high school, I guess yeah. I was, I just got out of high school, and there was yeah. a kid that was a freshman, mm-hmm. and I'm like trying, I'm her friend from the first day of her freshman year, yeah, and I'm like tricking her into liking me, like I'm grooming her to be the way I want her to be. Mm-hmm. So that she could be in my pocket. That's what grooming is. Yeah, that, that's what she was. That's what they said the guy was doing to the one girl because she's like. 18 or whatever 18 19 like she's not that, that she's That's not that old crazy. like he's like 29 and then the other girl that they was dating that left she was all he was they were the same age and they both brought her in and she was like maybe like fresh out of high school, fresh out of co- like. That's so disgusting. That's what I'm saying. Bro. And like they look so, they sound so delusional. Yeah, no, nah, they're sick. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, yo, we used to go on their lives and people trying to ask him because he's like a so called like business guru, business but whatever, you know, like yeah, them, yeah. like them niggas like that. And they're they're trying to say like, all right, show us your bank account, show us your, <laughs> show us show us how much money you made today. And he would no, not do fuck. it. Like he would not do it. That nigga don't make no money. That's like I don't get it, bro. I just think I think some people just have a weird output on things and like they they don't think they just no, do they just do they just do they shit. don't care about shit they, i don't know bro again i think you know everybody should have their freedom mm-hmm. and what they think is right but you have to know that there's a there's you subconsciously wrong you just have to know you're <laughs> wrong like i don't care bro that's that's what that's why i be thinking some people in this world are bots no they have some weird like, shit no because you here or don't here, have like, no i am all for Doing what you love, right? Like yeah. I love anime, right? Yeah. But you'll never see me rocking a fox tail with an Akatsuki <laughs> robe on and a fucking Naruto head bin. I have done that though. You did. But like, and I got fried for it <laughs> as I should. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and defend myself and be like, yeah. why they fry me? That's just no. That's just loser. Like, you can't mm-hmm. do that. There's mm-hmm. just some things that are socially unacceptable. It fucks it like whatever. Oh, society. They, no, it's weird. It's weird. It's exactly. weird. It's weird. You know, it's socially wrong. It's subconsciously wrong, and you're insecure about it, and you should be. That's what I'm saying. It's like. I just, like, even going back on the Adam thing, that whole shit, like, you should have just been deed with the other girl because you knew this shit was going to happen. Like, you knew shit was going to happen. Shit's always going to teeter like this, my nigga. Even if you think you keep getting your way, eventually, yeah. the shit's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? And it and got back it bad, got back boy. Terrible. Oh, my God. Twitter terrible. is blowing the fuck up. Good. This shit is so crazy. I feel every every party that goes, everybody that goes on this podcast always asks them about it. And he just Good. he will never get he will never get over it. Good. He'll never go over it. I think do you think it's that he let her do it, or is it because the the person she did it with? Like if it was some if it was a I think rip, it's the person she did it with. If it was the person she That's did it with. Bad, yeah. Bro. That is bad. A professional? Yeah. A, <laughs> a professional. Nigga's a pro. He's first team. Like, first team. He does that. <laughs> nigga signed by black. Like he really does that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Nigga is a pro. That is not like like if like what if it it was like she let like a random fan do it. That's a bit better, but you're still. A yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. He still is one. Wait, I, but I thought those type of people, like you, like those are the people that they they watch. No, their... they like it. Yeah, they want they want to watch. Oh, okay. they're really weird people. Do you think he watched it? He had to. Have. I you mean, think... would you? Nah, God forbid any of us are ever in this situation. That would happen. But yeah. you would want to watch. I know you would. I would want to watch. Oh my god! Not because I'd like it, but I, just, I have to see. Like, I, I, I have to see. <laughs> I, like, I just I have to see what's going on. I don't bro. think I can, bro. And get fucking angry. Oh my god, bro! Like I just think, like, like, do you think he cried? I would, and I hope he did. You I hope he literally <laughs> considered like ending it all, bro. <laughs> Quitting the scene, everything. <laughs> Like oh my gosh, bro, that's so bad, Fuck bro. That nigga, bro. That's so bad, idiot. But since I was talking about that, right? So the Adam Twenty Two situation, all that shit with his wife. So, are you, are you with your girl right now? No. Are you not? I with, haven't been. Oh, you haven't been? Oh, since not for a while. Since we, I was with you. When was the last time you was with me? When we was at Chris' crib. 
when we went to uh um, not before that what about i thought when we was going to uh um, it was the whole billy eilish thing i thought you guys were going to the water park yeah but oh okay i know jimmy i know jimmy but you know. but you straight though right yeah no i'm, I'm like i actually really did well for myself All right, that's good that's good. like she's been trying to reach out and contact me but i've been like d it and then you know i work with her unfortunately yeah. D in that too, like D D D D D. I'm really doing better for myself. Like I don't want that in my life. I Explain to her the nicest way I possibly could. Everything. Got you, bro. I, I think this is it'll be better for you. No, I, I'm bro. very much happy. I'm That's very very happy. No, That's yeah, good. Insanely happy. That's good. But now, say you did have a girlfriend. No. Someone is offering you ten million dollars. I have a wife now. Oh my God, who? UK. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm Say someone's offering you ten million dollars. No. To sleep with your girl. No. Yeah, I would never. No amount of money no, in this nothing. fucking there's world. There's nothing you could do. A bro. billion dollars. There's nothing. You nah, could do. hell no. Nothing you could do on this earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Even if it was the other way around, I would not do that shit. Hell no. A billion dollars. Nah, hell no. Nah. Huh? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I think you know, twenty twenty three is complete. I've heard the most insane thing I will all fucking year, nigga. That's nuts. Oh my god. I can't even imagine it first and foremost. No, hell no. I would never in my nah, life I don't care how much money in the world because all money can't money can't buy you happiness. Can't. It really money sure can't buy you can't. That, my, no, my mental is done up. Here's where the broke niggas in the comments go, bro, you're so dumb because of, you're <laughs> Your girl don't love you. You're a bitch. You're a pussy. If you letting if you letting somebody step all over you like that for money, you're selling your girl, the person that you're supposed to love. Exactly for money. Money you're gonna come, pussy. bro. That's I, what money. I'm, saying, I'm gonna make money. We gonna make some money regardless. What niggas don't get is that you can get everything back in this world, but time. Money comes back. Exactly. Friends come back. Everything comes back. Family. You can't get time. back. You cannot get that. Think moment about back. <laughs> you, it's gone forever. You'll never be able to look at her the same. Oh my god. I, I would, oh my gosh. I, I would Say I goodbye. would lose it. That guy I would have to if he would give me that money, he would have to die. Like, no, yeah, no, 100%. You know, like the worst way humanly possible. Like she has to die too. <laughs> She's not up with me. I'm up. Fuck. Nah, you man. just up? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, bro. bro. That's, like, that's, that's fucking so insane. bad. That's fucking bro. nuts. Like it's, hell no. It's really sick. And then I remember when when we was on the cruise, right? Uh me and me and Jay was sit was eating sushi and we were sitting next to the it was like it was three couples, it was out there for dinner. And we were kind of close. So, like, I'm hearing their whole conversation. And I remember, like, the the girl was saying, she said, oh, if I was in a burning fire and, like, half my face got burnt off and, like, I had to take my, my skin from my leg and put on my face, like, would you still love me? And the guy was like, of course I would. And then the girl was like, I'm not going to lie. If it was the other way around, I'm leaving your ass. I said, oh, my God gosh bro i was like yo honestly i want to say yes though i feel like as much as i like to talk shit and i was laughing right there because i was considering it because that looks insane you look like, like a guinea pig or something but like i think i would like that shit is crazy like i'm like wow and she i'm like they had to have been maybe just they're probably from like new york like they have like yeah. a little like, accent so they might have had to have just been like dating for maybe i'll say no more than two three years mm. but that's still a that's cra- still a crazy i would be looking i'm like oh that's kind of weird no that, i would have did that right there i wouldn't be able to stop thinking about that me yeah me neither i'm like, like wow like and what, could, what if something really happens to me now and it, it's funny because like me and jason are like this so the girl is like over here like, yeah. like diagonal for me so i can't even see what the boy's face would be because i can just imagine because that's like and he she was then she kept going she was like yeah like if you would have got fat like it's over i'm like oh my gosh I'm like, yeah, nah, this one, uh, this one might not be it, I'm bro. not going to lie to you. If I'm him, I'm frying her and be like, that's why you're ugly right now. I'm gone. <laughs> Deed. Made her feel insecure for the rest of her life. Oh, my god. That's bro. what you like. I'm doing that right now. You ugly. And like, leaving. that shit is so, like, like, I understand, like, there's not, some people find they people later in life. Yeah. So, I guess, like, that, like, do you think that, like, that would be a deal breaker for you? Yeah, low key. Or, like, you would try to, like... No, it's insane, because inevitably something's going to happen. That's what I'm inevitably. saying. Exactly. Like, like imagine, what are you going to do? Like, what if I'm, like, what if I'm paralyzed? That's what I'm saying. What, you if, know, like, what if something really bad happens? Exactly. Yo, let me that's, not my, that's not my fault. That's crazy. Like, like, if you were in a burning building and you... Bur- like, that's not your fault. Nah. Like, like if I'm if I'm in the burning building and, like, I look crazy, like, something like something happened to me. Like, yeah. what, like what, if the, what, God forbid, what if the guy got cancer? He had to go bald. Yeah. Is she going to be with the nigga? No. Like oh my, that's, that's terrible. so you're bad. gone. Your deed for life. That's so bad, but like ah, uh, free deed for life, bro. If you're watching this, I doubt you are free. That nigga, free bro. you, bro, because that was leave I felt that so- bitch. <laughs> Simple. 
<laughs> and she's probably ugly. Oh my god! I can just tell. Oh my god! You think like that, you're ugly. That's so bad. Like who? Like why people think like that? But like I guess it depends on the person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I guess that brings that out of you, depending on who you're with. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, when it comes to like the person that you love, mm-hmm. it's not all. I mean. I, Initially, no matter who you are, what you are, unless you're blind or whatever, some special situation, you're, yeah. it's initially based off physical appearance. Yeah. That's why you're with that person at the very, that's why you guys started talking to begin with. Yeah, that's how it started. But after that, it, it, it's not what it's about anymore, even close to that anymore. Mm-hmm. So again, if you're still worried about your partner looking good after an away. accident, is fucking crazy. That's what I'm saying. It's not his fault. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's crazy. always, you got to think past the, the physicals after a point. Yeah. Like, the physicals usually stay around. Yeah, from no, like, it's nice to have, but yeah. I don't. That's like a that's like addition because like that shit don't last for no, a while. No, because they're, they're gonna be disgusting. Because a personality can make a person look ugly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that Absolutely. shit made them up like that. Yeah, make them look ugly. And like I, I got another question. So like, what do you think is something other than looks that would attract you to a person? If they like anime and video games. Oh really? Hell yeah. <laughs> so if somebody was like, no, nah, they good? look ugly. I can't do it. Sorry. Wait. Huh? <laughs> nah, I'm just, I'm just gonna let you know right so, now. Like if if you got excited. <laughs> because you like anime and video games, but you probably don't look good and you don't think you look good, I probably won't either. I'm gonna be honest with you. So don't. Uh so if it so mm-hmm. just so do they have to be good at the video games? No. Oh, they just ain't just play. have a passion for it. Yeah. Without a doubt. I get you. I think for me, like like I I, re- I, I kinda realize this like with me and Jay, is like they, they have to be good at like physical like activities, like sports wise. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I like doing stuff. Yeah. So like like with me and Jay, we do a lot like like I never like earlier, I kind of realized she was good at like I know she's you know she's good at softball and things, yeah. but I didn't know she was good. At, we played basketball. She beat me one time in basketball. I'm not gonna lie. You have nah, like, I mean. like, like you can't then, play for college and like, lose. <laughs> like, you're done for. Like we play, we could play bat, we could play base like wiffle ball together. We play basketball. We play like ping pong. Yo, when we get a crib, we buying a ping pong table. Like me and Jay be playing ping pong all the time. Like we play on the boat. It. So I think that. Like 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 imagine you had a girl that didn't know how to do all that shit. That no, should be so boring. boring. Yeah, you're boring. Well, not for me at least, because I mean, you just, yeah, you can sit right here playing on your computer, bro. <laughs> that shit. But you know, no, you know, there's absolutely things besides physical appearance that should attract you to someone. Again, uh, I'd be lying if I said that. Uh, I've talked to someone, or maybe not. I've seen someone that you know may not have been the most attractive to me, but yeah. then had the hobbies that I really enjoy, and I was like, that's fucking awesome. Like you're really attractive. Now. So did you make her that your friend? I don't make female friends. Mm. Real nigga. <laughs> Real nigga. I wish I could. It's not because I don't want to. I just can't. Can't in your sense or can't in their sense? Like you, like I don't fall in love. Oh, so <laughs> and I, see, because niggas are gonna think I'm talking cocky, bro. I promise you, bro. Every single time I'm friends with a female, it doesn't work out, bro. I mean, ah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Every single one. It's <laughs> terrible. It's really, it's awful. Because I, I really enjoy it. You probably, it you probably like. flirt by accident. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> like, but like, like, you know, I don't mean to. Like. It's all jokes. Because I mean, I tell everybody to suck my dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. That's not even a joke. <laughs> no, nah, nigga. Niggas is crazy, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh man. What was. What what else do you want to talk about? Oh, did you see the new GTA uh, 6 news about how everything's going on? They mm-hmm. supposedly, I don't know too much about it, but I think, isn't GTA supposed to be coming out soon? Like 2024. 2024. I think. They what said you can make money off of GTA. No. Supposedly. That's impossible. Like, like say, like say, um, say you write, like depending on how much money you have in GTA, yeah. you can make money off of it. No. If you do it the right way, supposedly. It's impossible because... They would have to have an insane firewall of just not being able to be penetrated oh. by people who can manipulate. Code like try and to like uh, yeah. fin- oh, and plus GTA, you niggas be fine and cheap. The money like glitch that. all the time, bro. Oh. Money glitching out the ass. Imagine that's a thing though. Nigga, like, I'd be up. I'm looking up every money glitch every day. You think that will happen eventually though? Like getting paid, like because that's low key like like Twitch. If you want to think about it like that, you are getting paid playing video game. No, yeah, you're right. Uh, I think it's possible, but it has to be like. But like, think about it. They again, it would have to be like Ready Player One. You have to do a job inside the game, to make money, <laughs> like put your life at risk. Like, <laughs> like think about it. Like, they when was the last time? When did GTA Five come out? Two thousand is when I was a freshman. So that was almost twenty fourteen, maybe. We're going on twenty fifteen. So it's going on ten years. Yeah. 
You don't think they could have made something up? Not yes, they could have, bro. In like the ten years span, they could have. It might have, it might not be something crazy. I like, feel like it's too hard to do. Niggas are so? smart. That's what I'm saying. Cause niggas, no, because niggas are too smart. Not the game developers. Oh, niggas. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Us. We're too <sighs> smart. Because I just think, like, I feel like that that would really make niggas want to play that shit though. That's a Hell genius yeah. idea. What the fuck? Just imagine you get paid like not even nothing crazy. Like you get paid like say you make five hundred thousand dollars, you get fifty bucks. Dude, that's up. I'm that's what I'm saying. That's like, too easy, though, bro. Do you think that's too easy? Yeah. How how long you think it'll take you to make five hundred thousand dollars in GTA? In GTA, with that, without that no glitch, five hundred. The heist is. I mean, makes niggas dumb, bro. Which heist? Any heist. Oh, any heist. Well, I mean, the first ones are ass, but I mean, you do the last heist over and over again, you're up. But you grind like how long you think that would take you? Niggas be grinding for that for free. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but just a, ima- uh, maybe, maybe. I think I think there will be a game eventually that would do some shit like that. At least I mean that's online gambling. Oh, technically? Oh uh, like, yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean you ever do you ever play online gambling? I've gambled, not like real, but it's called you don't know, it's C- CSGO is like a shooting game. Yeah. But they have skins for guns that go for like real life money and niggas manipulate the market with that all the time. Really? I wanna see us go gambling website, you know, gamble mm-hmm. like real life money for skins and like roll the roulette and all that good yeah. shit. So yeah. I, I always wanted to try that one gambling game where it's like a pyramid and then you put your money in and then you press the you press the space bar and then it drops like 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 the Plinko? Like the, is that I don't know it might that be. have little pegs and then the ball yeah 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 that's it plinko and then the freaking like the times whatever is on the bottom yeah. and say like you get times like five then that shit goes up I be yeah. wanting to do that so bad but no, I feel like bro. I feel like if I get <laughs> no. like if I have as much money as like these niggas that do it I would really be running like, I would really do that's that shit every day addiction bro because think about it if I put five uh, if I put five k if I if I make if I make like a million dollars a year I put five k into that shit and I just. See how much I make. I double it. I make like twenty five. Okay, that's how you get addicted. I know. <laughs> it's literally like that's why. That's, how why you get addicted. that's why I can't do like sports betting. I can't do like the casino. Like I tried the casino one time. Like I think I made like, I made like a hundred dollars at the casino one time. But like I, I don't know where that hundred dollars went. I ain't gonna lie. I think I re. I think I respun it. And exactly. Just did ass. You go. I just made money. Fuck it. Let's put more in. Like it's like I. I don't know, bro. You never heard of the rocket shit game? The crypto rocket. What's that? It's literally just a rocket that will go up, 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 up. And then explode randomly. And if you don't like tap out or like press space to like get out of it before it blows up, you just lost everything. Really? Yeah. So wait. So, so how do you slowly get... just? So it could. And if it, it could blow up right off the rip. And you just lost all your money. So how do you get money off of it? Just leaving? No, because the more it goes up, the more it times is by your oh. money. So like it's like one point one, one point two, one point three, one point four. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's. <sighs> That's kind of. Damn. Yeah, I would made that a sick. That is sick. Made that Cause sick. imagine like it just go like this, that shit explodes. Yeah, well, like if you put all in, you're done. Wow, cause they get like gambling, bro. Like I know, especially now that um sports and online gambling is like legal in New Jersey. Like I know so many people that have been sports, sports bet, a lot. bro. I know niggas that bet two thousand dollars, bet bread on some random soccer game in Uruguay. Yeah, that's what Jacoby be doing. What? That's what he, he has a Discord. Of niggas who like professionally bet mm-hmm. and he'll listen to what they say and put fifty dollars on Bu Wai Gu in China <laughs> on a baseball <laughs> but does, game. Like But does he win though? Sometimes. Like well, it's, again, it's all gamble. That's There's what I'm saying. no guarantee of anything. That's what I'm saying. Like, I remember somebody was saying uh, he was saying like if people would like would have learned about like teach you about gambling when you're younger, they would not do it. Because yeah. they will know how low the odds are to win something. Yeah. Because they just you see people winning all the time, and that's what they do. Like they really just push that out, so you make it makes you think that you yeah. can win anything. But in all reality, you can't. You're not gonna really win as much. No, of course not. But fucking so funny story. When we were in the when I was in the military, uh, when you know when AMC stock they whipped yeah. and flipped it, they mm-hmm. pumped and dumped that shit. Yeah, everybody was like, "Fuck it, man, stocks are lit, man. We can make so much money, right?" Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> My boy Rivera, that's my best friend in the Marine Corps. Yeah. He really got into it, really got into it, and was telling everybody about this fucking company called Jagex. Mm-hmm. They were going to, like, you know, develop a shot or a cure for COVID. Yeah. <laughs> so he told, he's like, bro, you know, once they, once they drop this, bro, you got to put everything in, bro. You got to buy some Jagex, bro, for sure, for sure. Niggas lost thousands. <laughs> thousands. Dudes were, like, really believe in this nigga. Really? Yes. Because, again, I think they just didn't drop it, mm-hmm. so Jagex never went up. Their wow. shock never went up, so niggas just lost hella bread. Oh my gosh! And that, everybody pulled out because they're like, "This shit ain't gonna work." That's what I'm saying. Like even during like that, that was during that was during like 2020 and shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah, around there. Like because, 20, because that's when niggas was really like in the stocks. Cause niggas was in the crib, so they trying to find ways to make yeah. money. And I remember I I still got the acorn shit. That shit still be taking five dollars out of my account every day, bro. That shit pissed me off. I don't know how the fuck to. Fuck is acorn? It's a it's like an investing app. It's not that bullshit where like they take the the change away and no, what is it? That's like it's like it's it's like you it's like an investing portfolio. So it's like you put money into it. And then they'll put it into like a, a portfolio for you to invest in. So the same shit, shit like that. Like you put your thousand dollars into like this one other company, but it's just like, it's just like the app. Like it's just like I forgot. That what didn't make you any money? I didn't try it, but like I just uh, made an account, but I forgot. Like I paid money for it. Oh. And then that shit just been taking five dollars out. I just got a freaking damn. My mom you, gonna bro. hear this shit. She gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a there was an app. I was talking about the app where apparently like if you make a transaction with your card and your card's on your phone through this app. Mm-hmm. Whatever, like, let's say you pay five seventy nine for something, it mm-hmm. takes the twenty one cents and will save it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I've shit's kind of smart. Mm. Is that might be because over a while you'll have like hello. Mm-hmm. Just sense I think I, I think I've seen that on like an advertisement. Yeah. I never did it, but I feel like it's a really smart idea. Mm. You're saving money secretly. You don't even know. Yeah, but I mean, you could low key. I mean, I guess, and it's it just it rounds it up for you. Or I sing. think so. Some shit like that. I don't really remember, but yeah. Mm. I forgot what... I think I know what you're talking about. I remember that shit. But, I mean... I feel like shit like that be like scams, low-key. Probably. Like on the lowest of keys. I never do that. Like, but like... It like, seems like it. Like, like it's, re- it's really crazy how... Like, niggas could control us without even... Like, saying, I control yeah, you yeah. on some weird shit. Because like, you know... Like... All right, let me I, let me tell you something I, I heard about the other day. You know about the whole you know the whole breakfast propaganda shit. Did you ever hear about that? Fuck is that? So, you know the you know the normal American breakfast, bacon, eggs, yeah. most important meal of the day, shit like that. So back in the like a hundred years ago, that wasn't a thing. I didn't Be- know that. So like, cause nobody ate breakfast, but I don't eat breakfast. That, that's what I'm saying. But it's like people always told us when we was kids, like you need to eat breakfast yeah. to go on your day, so you eat all the stuff. So basically, it was created by, um, what was his nigga name? His name was um, Edward Bernay, and he was like the, he's like the father of like all the of propaganda. So the meat the meat industry was freaking losing money because not a lot of people was buying from them. Mm. So they went to him as a way to like figure out how to like bring up their like people to start buying these products. So what he did was he went he didn't go to the people to convince them. He convinced. The higher up people, like the doctors and like the pediatricians, so that breakfast is like he 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 gave them studies, gave them experiments, showing them that breakfast is good for you. Damn. So now the, he brings the doctors with them, saying like, "Oh, look, breakfast." He started the American Breakfast Campaign, and that's when breakfast started going. Like people started eating breakfast. That's kind of wild. Start, people start buying more meat, like bacon and sausage and things like that. But like he would leave out little details, as in like, like. Like they, he only say the good stuff because everything got good and bad things. Yeah. But he will he will amplify the good things to convince the doctors like oh this is right. And he would he did the same thing for cigarettes. Back in the hey, days, good guy. <laughs> like he like you know how back in the fifties everybody was smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Like he he did a a campaign for women trying to get women to smoke cigarettes as a way <laughs> because back in the days I guess like you know women women empowerment they try to be equal yeah. they they use cigarettes. As a way that to is smart as fuck. Exactly. To make it because the men is doing it. <laughs> yeah. To make them seem powerful. And they try to compare them. They took they had a bunch of women with uh cigarettes, smoking cigarettes, and they compared that to Lady Liberty. And now everybody is smoking cigarettes. That shit is genius. That nigga's that is that genius. Nigga's up. I can't even that lie. shit is so smart, but it's kind of scary because that now is. you can use it for good or you can use it for bad. Because now you got because what I also heard was that somebody the the co the founder of Netflix is related to that guy, so now think about it. You see how Netflix I mean, Netflix put hella businesses out. Netflix put so many businesses out, and you know how I many people Netflix is about to take out the normal Comcast and Veri- like Comcast and like yeah. cable. Like that's just crazy. Eventually, in a couple years, Netflix will run like niggas won't even need cable no more, and like I feel like I feel like. This is like a new style of propaganda that we just can't really notice as in a way to, I don't know, maybe just tell, maybe just come, just keep us in a certain area. Cause like, you know, cause I never realized 
we can make so much more money than we really are, but nobody like we don't have the right people teaching us or we don't know how to. But when niggas go outside the box and do it, yeah. people are afraid to because so many people are doing this one thing. Like like I'll give you an example. So you know if you if you own four chickens, you that will cut off t- half of your property tax in the state Why? of New Jersey because you're considered a farm. If you own four chickens in your backyard, niggas gonna have three and a half. <laughs> niggas gonna have three and a little chicken. That's crazy. So like, if you just have a chicken coop and you put that on your tax route, you you won't have to pay half your taxes because now you're considered a farm. But niggas don't teach us that because imagine they teach us that in school, they're gonna spam it. Hell yeah. And that's, well, that's how you keep. Uh, that's well, that's like the whole value of money. It's like mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Monkey logic, right? Yeah. If there's higher monkeys and lower monkeys, right? The lower monkeys can't get bananas as easily, but all the you know higher monkeys have hella bananas. Yeah. You give the lower monkeys a bunch of bananas. Now everybody's the same. Yeah. And now the bananas have no value. That's true. That's how it is. I guess is that what they try to do? Keep balance. So, so the rich has to be rich. To be honest with you, as crazy as it sounds, keep the rich richer type shit. It's terrible, but it's true. Or yeah. else we'll lose value. And everybody's again, equality is what we strive for, but. I don't think equality is what everybody will think it would be if we're if we're honest. I think if we're all equal, we have no structure. Everybody, whose word's better than the other? But what if they? What if that's just them? Like, yeah, well, yeah, they could be mind controlling. Like, my my, like, you but know what I'm saying, I, I, think, I want you to really think about it. There's no way it would become a utopia if everybody was equal. There's no fucking structure. I could go outside, shoot somebody, and be like, I'm right because we're all equal, right? Yeah, but like that's that's what I'm saying because now it's it's because based on like how we live. It's like you can't. It's like you really can't. But now it's like everybody has to be. Uh, it's like an agreement, I guess, to be like equal. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everybody has to agree to it. But like I feel like there's certain ways they do to us to make it like think that we're all either somebody's always better than this person. Somebody's always better. Like you. Like there's no way somebody like like you said. There's no way we could all be in one line. Yeah. It's always got to go like this, no matter what. It's crazy. And it could be from how the society treats people. Like how they treat like certain people that makes them think a certain way, either it's the rich people or the minorities and things like that, and always keep them down there. That might be the same way as like maybe like the mind control shit. They just keep it like you're giving people a mindset that they can't get out of because that's yeah, what they know their like, whole life. Think about like slums in third world countries. Mm-hmm. The country probably has enough money to do something to fix their entire country, mm-hmm. but they're not doing it because you need that structure. People have to stay poor. Yeah. Because if there's no poor people, then everybody's rich, and if everybody's rich, then and there's no value for anything. Exactly, but it, it's crazy. Like, but that's how it works. But just, like, let's think about it. If we all had money, if we all had, like, say we're not even filthy rich, but we all have a hundred that we all make six figures. Six figures is poor people now. Yeah, six figures. I mean, six. The, the but people who have six figures would now be poor. That's compared to like if everybody in the world has six figures. Yes, that would now be poor that compared is to poor because again, now if everybody in the world has a dollar right now, they're still poor, right? But if I we mean, all yeah. increase that to 100,000, they're now poor and the people who have more are rich. But what if nobody has more? That's what I'm saying. Well, then if we're all equal, then it has no value because everybody's the exact same. Mm. And they could, again, now, now like, what's stopping companies from making every single they sell $100,000 and now producing poor people? That dollar really changed the world, bro. That's just crazy. That bro. shit really makes money the world runs good. this fucking world. It's crazy. We don't run this world, people. That dollar bill does. It sure does. But I don't know. I feel like there's some weird propaganda shit that that's going on in the world that I really don't. That we're not really accustomed to. Like, like say, like I always talk about it. Like, for example, in how he runs his country. He sure fucking does. He had that bitch on lock. That's what I'm saying. He had that bitch on lock. But people in that country think it's normal. Yeah, of course they don't know that anything exists outside of it. Exactly. It's it's exactly. Yeah, wait, crazy part is we like talking about conspiracy things like this. We talked about this before. We may very well be that on Earth. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. very well be being just controlled by something above, and we, we don't know about anything outside of it. So we're like, this is life. That's so weird. Bro. Isn't that insane? That's that's. <laughs> I I hate thinking about that because it's really like I. No s- one's truly free, bro. I don't give a fuck how enlightened you think you are. You're not free. I don't think so. Yeah. I refuse to believe her. I mean, maybe not, I don't refuse, but do you really believe that we're all free people? I don't think so. I feel like once you feel like you're free, there's always something. There has to be something higher than us. It's and always- something higher than that. Something, there's a hierarchy of everything, bro. That's scary to Niggas think. Niggas who bro. believe in God, there's... Nah, let me not talk about religion. I don't want to offend anybody. My fault. But there's someone higher than him. And higher than him. And higher than him. So you think it's just an endless loop of going up? It's so... 
naive and ignorant to think that something just created us and he's just the ruler. There's no fucking way. Yeah. There's just no fucking way. But, you know, it's nice for comfort and all that good stuff. So shout out religious people. But uh, it's insane to think about. I don't want, I see. I I don't know what I believe in. I believe, I, I'm not going to lie. Nigga, I, you believed I, in God before the podcast. We started I, doing research. I was like, wait, hold on. I, I, pray, I pray at night for all this stuff. I thank, for, I thank him for whatever. But I, who are you thanking? I don't know. We don't know. That's, that's what we, we don't I just, know. I always thought that because I'm not really a religious person. Like, I don't really go to church all the time. But, like, I, maybe that's just me just not knowing. But I always thought that things in that nature of like religion was created to give people hope yeah comfort yeah absolutely to and also for for territory as well i mean back in the day religious wars exactly niggas they're doing it to bring people in like hey you want to fight for god like exactly. this is what you gotta do like like especially like for muslims and things like that when like when uh they was fighting in afghanistan things like that they, they would literally risk their lives because they knew once they died they're going to a better place yeah and what like they were blowing themselves up because they thought they were going to heaven or whatever. That's what I'm saying. So it's like it just gives them hope. And it's like for me, I like my dad always told me this, I will I will always remember this from my father. And I'll give this I'll give the same speech to my son and whatever. He my dad always told me hope was for the weak. Yes, I agree. That's a real shit. Hope is for the weak. Like you and I every time I used to be like, oh, I wish I I hope I get to the NBA. Yeah. He's like, nah, don't you say that. Hope is for the people when if you if you have nothing left in the tank, then you hope. Not even even That's then you gotta know things is gonna happen. Bro. I gotta talk to him, bro. <laughs> he had to realize nigga. That's insane. Because bro, like I was even trying to tell like almost every single girl I've been with, mm-hmm. I swear they say something like hope. Because, I don't know, people are just weak-willed and all this good stuff. I think, they'll be like, oh, I hope this happens. I go, no, like, what are you going to get on your knees and wait for it to happen? Like, so you saying, have to go do it. You got to go do it. That's the whole reason, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really believe in the higher power, mm-hmm. to be honest. Because, like, what am I going to, did he fucking make sure I was eating? Did he make sure I was fucking doing what I had to do? Did he make me money? Fuck no. Mm-hmm. I got up. I had to do this shit. I had to do everything my damn self. He ain't fucking do it for me. You could believe in him, sure, but he's not doing it for you. You're doing it yourself, my nigga. Yeah. You're not gonna hope on a fucking shooting star. You have to wake up and do it. Simple. Real shit, bro. I don't know, bro. I hate that shit. I hate that mentality. Yeah. Like, it, might, it may work out. No, nah, you have to do something. That's why oh, I live by that ever since I was a kid, bro. My dad always told, like, like I said, I always used to be. I hope I make the basketball team. He was like, "No, you gotta know." Ever since I, he told me that, I I made the. I got cut from the basketball team in seventh grade. Next year, I made the basketball team. Made the team every year after that. I made. I got. I, I was a walk on in college. I didn't think I was gonna play college basketball. I walked on to college. Only nigga from my basketball team that was playing college basketball at the time. Then I didn't hope for none of that stuff. You gotta do. You gotta. You gotta do what you think. Like I believe. Do you believe in manifestation? Yeah, a little bit, honestly. I didn't at first, but it really exists. Because like, I feel like I feel like if you tell yourself, if you believe truly that something will happen, or it, it will you'll happen. You'll subconsciously start doing something exactly. to make it happen, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like you got to you gotta manifest things to happen. Like you, do, If you tell yourself that it's going to happen, everything's going to be good, it will always be good. But if you keep thinking it's going to be bad, things going to go left, it, it will. will always be bad. Yeah, That's how good it and bad manifestation both exist. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you I've manifested something bad. Terrible, actually. I guarantee you. By accident? Or no. Like, no well, yeah, by accident, <laughs> I guess. Because like, think about it. I never wanted my relationship to go downhill, yeah. but I kept on thinking so fucking negatively. I must have. Sub- I mean, she's her own fucking yeah. case. But mm-hmm. like subconsciously, I guarantee you, I was doing worse. And I just felt like I can't even fucking do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Over and over in my head until I just couldn't. Mm-hmm. Not that I wanted to, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like bad manifestation exists and so does good. I guarantee you, Darius didn't just wake up and was like, I hope the podcast. He put in the fucking work every single damn day. Editing, oh, shit, all this bro. good shit. He did it. Manifested. He said, I want to do this. I hope this happens. Not going to happen. You want to do it? It will. Simple. Real shit, bro. You got to put your mind into it, people. They always tell you. They always tell you you need help. You don't need really help, bro. You All you need is yourself. As long it as sucks. you believe in it, you can achieve it. Real shit, bro. But, oh, speaking about the propaganda shit, I got, I got a question to ask mm-hmm. you. I don't believe in it personally, uh-huh. but a lot of people in this world do. Uh-huh. So I will ask you, yeah. is the earth flat? Oh my fucking God. <laughs> like, are you retarded? 
I'm not gonna lie, you just have to be a fucking ape. You have to be a Neanderthal <laughs> to think that they're this flat. Niggas, like, it's been proven wrong so many damn times. Like, you could see the curvature of the earth. You mm-hmm. can if you set up the right, like, whatever bullshit science. Yeah. How could it be flat? See, I, in my How? in my head, I don't believe it's flat. I think the earth is round. But the, 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 the way they sp- talk about it, it do make a little bit of sense. In a fact as... They say, <laughs> "Where do the planes go, bro?" Let me, let me not say that. Do they just fly <laughs> off the edge of the earth, my nigga? I mean, How do we get from California to fucking Europe? How do we do it? They say it's like th- all right, so it's not like all right, time. We, we we fucking go to the time portal and go to the think, other side. Think, think about it like they explain Pac Man. No, it's like a, they say it's like a snow globe. That's what they mean by flat. Even then, how are you getting from California to Europe? That's like. Think about it as in me state. Say I'm California and you're you're, you're Europe, and yes. we're in a flat plane, and I walk over to you. You can walk this way, yeah. But people take flights that way. Oh, that is a good. <laughs> How do we do it? <laughs> Magic, I suppose. That is, that I suppose is a good, that's a good idea. I suppose all pilots are time warping reality <laughs> demons that could warp us from one side of the earth to the other on a whim. <laughs> Nigga, you're if, stupid. But what if? Okay. There's no other way around it. There's no other way around it. So, say we're going to the right. What if he just goes like this? It would be so illogical, and the time still wouldn't add up because you can't... Again, if you're taking a California flight to Europe, I don't know the times, but if it's 22 hours versus you could take a 12-hour flight, it's not adding up. I I hate to break it to all you flat earthers, but you're apes. (laughs) Apes. Like, Like, people say... Damn, sorry, Kyrie. But <laughs> Kyrie's a flat earther. Yeah, yeah. This is why Bash is a lame. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. It. So people say because we don't have actual because all the pictures of Earth that we have is like genetic is like artificially made. Yeah, no, it, correct. So it's like you really don't know what it looks like. And yeah, like correct. in the in the Bible, it says there's a firmament. Do you know you know what it means by the firmament? It's just like there's a dome over us. Yeah. So that's basically what they're saying. As in like the earth is flat like this, but there's a dome that seals us from outer space. Which hey, I don't know. Explain the stratosphere, the ionosphere. I mean, it could still go up like it. that. Okay. Now I, again, I made a good <laughs> point. I forgot what I was gonna say. Um fuck. <laughs> I, I, you guys are actually boggling my brain just, it wouldn't work it just wouldn't work i mean how i mean how would or like how would how do we see the sun and the moon are they spheres are they somehow circles yeah i mean i guess like just think about it as a snow like a like a snow globe like it's like on the outside we're 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 a flat surface floating in space could possibly a flat spur we could be a flat surface on somebody's desk Yes, I, I agree with that. <laughs> but in terms of no, it's just not possible, bro. It's, we couldn't be a flat surface in space. There, we just we couldn't. There was a there was a guy. I forgot what his name was. He he was talking about it. He had some very good explanation that almost convinced me. But I really don't know. I'm easy to convince. I'm not gonna lie. So I, I could tell Darius my fucking vape, and he don't even smoke. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's I don't know. I don't think it's flat. I think there's other reasons. I don't think it. Because, but like, all right, say like, like you were saying with, um, New York to, say we're going New York to London. Yes. Don't you just, you just cross the Atlantic, right? Yes. So like, what do you mean? Like what, if I go. The problem is these flat earthers see, I don't know, somewhere around the California, Alaska area being one end of the earth and Europe towards like Australia being the other end of the earth. I don't think of it as like that though. I think I of it. Know, how else could it be fun? Uh, it has to like, have an end and an end. Yeah, end and an end, but it's like, cause I, right, you know what they say? They say like, all right. So you know, so look at the globe, right? So imagine the globe, you flatten it, right? And all of the countries is in that circle, but where's Antarctica is around? The bottom. No, 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 no. It's around all of us. So say say California, wherever California, that side is the end. Say you keep going to the ocean, you're going to hit like an ice wall, whatever, like Antarctica, whatever, if you keep going that way, supposedly. So what you're telling me, in all these years of time of flying and sailing ships, we have never just flown off the edge of the earth? I mean, 
My <laughs> Don't try to look, logic look, me. Look, look, it's look, impossible. Look, 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 look. I've I've seen or I've seen I've seen videos about old maps and back in the fifteen hundreds where they, they drew Antarctica as a circle like this. As a circle around us. So I don't know if it's real or not. They could, that's what I'm saying. The propaganda shit, niggas, Antarctica might not just be at the bottom of the earth, but that shit might be just be the border of our world. And <laughs> Again, what happens? How have we not crossed it? How have we not found the edge of the, I mean, the Minecraft got, map? You got to think about it. They made a treaty with Antarctica. Everybody signed a treaty to not. We can't go to certain parts of Antarctica. You just could stay on the edge. For scientific reasons. Was what they tell us. What about the rest? The rest if, of what? What just, oh my God, you really think we're surrounded? I don't think we're surrounded. I don't Nigga think. Nigga thinks we're in a Minecraft <laughs> map. It's crazy. I, do, I don't. I really, I just say I'm open to any possibilities. Niggas are dumb. I'm open to, Stupid. I'm open to any possibilities. You got to think about I'm it. Not, not like, to that one. For scientific purposes, what's the, sci- like, just, like, it's for scientific purposes, but it's like, as a we can't agree on simple shit in life yes but we can agree not to go to this piece of ice why would you want to go there okay then why are we doing scientific shit because there's things that we don't know about over there and they're going to discover it that's what i'm saying you never know that shit might be a whole circle around i don't know it could be a whole lot of hoopla shit bro that's what i'm saying like niggas could be protecting that shit like say i mean wouldn't you like flat where's the depth the depth? Yeah, where's the where's the I guess the, the length? Do we have a length or are we just a width? Isn't it how would the ocean what's it, work? What's a diameter? That's for circles. What if, <laughs> well, what, <laughs> what all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What if it's like this now? Right? So we're a sphere, right? But the earth is this part right here. It's like this flat sp- how does the ocean work? That's the bottom part right here. The bottom is the ocean, space is up top. So you're telling me it would be a cube. <laughs> it's still not flat, even if we are talking about no, logic. no. Look, look, like think about it as a ball, right? Think about it like think I'm giving you a ball. It's mm-hmm. a it's a clear ball, but inside there's like a plane, like there's a plane inside. Like, so we're inside of a sphere, though. Yeah, I mean, t- if you want to be technical. So again, it's a sphere, no matter which. But way what if the it. land part is just a line? Is just flat? It's still impossible. To fly. <laughs> like, it's like still, think about it. that's the. It's still impossible to travel. No matter what, you can it can work. No, it cannot. It actually, can't, regardless of what you think or any of these guys think, it just can't work. Hey, bro, I don't know people. I am on no side. I'm just watching. I hope there's, I hope there's someone in the comments. I pray <laughs> there's a guy that believes in flat Earth. Please let there be a guy who believes in flat Earth. Please. I'm just why I'm just a normal bystander here from both sides. The truth will like the truth shall. What's that? What's the saying go? The truth right. shall shall set you free. Yeah. The truth shall set you free. So whatever the truth is, will set us free. Whatever it is, there could be a there could be a ring around the world, and it's Antarctica. It could be a big sphere. You could be a fucking idiot. But, <laughs> you know. But this. But do you know what I'm saying though with the sphere thing? Yes, I got you. But it's still stupid. <laughs> because again, that would imply that there's border lines and walls that we can't go through. The military. No, there's no military <laughs> in the fucking air. There's no spaceships supporting these fucking borderlines of the earth. Not spaceships, but like, it's a dome. Okay, so you're telling <laughs> me that you just fly into a fucking wall. I mean, they stop you before you get to the wall. They stop you how, Darius? Mind control? They turn the pilots around? Nah, flying look, from they, California to If Europe? they tell you nothing's there, you're not going to go there. The pilot has to fly, bro. You look, you're just, to fly. Jay, yo, you're just flying like this. That's like, say this whole floor is the world. You're just walking like this, nigga. I hope nigga. you know, no matter, regardless if you're flying in a circle, <laughs> it would still take you significantly more time to go this way, this way, instead of just going this way, coming through that way. Because that's how the, world, the earth works. But like, oh, you kind of knocked this shit out. Shit. Oh, no, you straight. You might just have to, um, wait. Yeah. I need to buy new XLR cables, bro. That's why, join the Patreon. We're broke. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Oh, wait, no, it's still off. You gotta plug it back in again. Am I on? Yeah, you're on. Can you count me in? It starts in my nose. And, um, <laughs> what the fuck? If you're not supporting the Patreon yet, you're watching the YouTube or uh, TikTok daily. What are you doing? It's only $5 a uh, here, month. Here's my thing, right? If you enjoy our content so much, and you're like, well, because it's free. What if it wasn't? Broke boy. <laughs> Value. Value yes. the podcast. Now, if everybody had a podcast like this, 
then we'd all be the same. Inequality is we just spoke about this. Ah, we you need to value what we have here. Real shit, Spend bro. five dollars. If you don't like it, no problem. Fuck this guy. <laughs> well, bitch, just try it out. Is all I ask. Exactly. Don't worry. You gonna get you get discounts on merch coming out soon. You get. I, I gotta talk to you. We got a, we have photo shoot coming up soon. Yes. Got some shit. Finally, clout. <laughs> we got merch. We got other. We got game shows about to play on that shit. We got maybe vlogs. I don't know. We might go into abandoned building. Who fucking knows? You want to see Jason do a backflip? Go subscribe that. to the Patreon right now. We could do gaming if that's what exactly. You're you want to see we, Jason play? What are you? League of Legends. You, you have to understand. I don't know that we I'm are sure. such a diverse friend group. Whatever you want, we can do it. Wait, don't on, say that. <laughs> no, we can do it. No, we have. Niggas. Oh, I'm God. <laughs> no, nah, but we got anime talkers, sports, anything that you probably would like. Promise you we have people to talk about it, entertain you in that, playing them by speaking about it, anything. We can do it. I might do I might do a, a, a episode on there talking about like a like an anime ranking video where you guys talk oh, about man, it. Man, I'll go crazy. Who would you want who would you want to be with you? Me, Bass, Chris, Chikai. Nah, Chikai is terrible takes, but that's gonna spice it up. <laughs> Me, Chikai, Chris Bash, probably. I don't think anybody else. I think that sounds good. But if you want to watch it, subscribe five dollars a month but if you're not gonna do it somebody else will and once we get a lot the price is gonna go up nigga inflation <laughs> dickhead <laughs> supply and demand type shit you motherfuckers but yeah like i said we don't know if the earth is flat or round it it's leaning more on the round side but i don't know if that's <laughs> leaning not, more it I, don't is. Know, I don't know if that society scaring me <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that's the propaganda that we've been talking about if andrew tate says the world's flat then it's flat Oh shit! I'm about, I'm about to ask that nigga. What about Kyrie, bro? And Kyrie, we trust. Kyrie's an idiot. <laughs> for that, he's an idiot. <laughs> All right, but I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to take over the USA. Yes. Choose your army. You have ten thousand John Wicks. All of the aliens in Ben 10's Omnitrix, except for Alien X, because he's too OP. One Godzilla, or five hundred Xenomorphs from Alien vs Predator. Who are which army are you choosing? Ben 10's kind of crazy. That's what I'm saying. Ben 10's actually OP Ben 10 is too He's nuts. actually insane because think about it like this. Ben 10's wiping John Wick. But I that's like 10,000 John Wicks I though. Know. John Wick's kind of tough. That's 10,000? Damn. Damn. That nigga was movies. Bro, <laughs> that nigga killed like 400 people. He did. But like, I was, because in Ben 10's Omnitrix, there's probably, I think there's like like 40 or 50 of them. Yeah, a bunch of but them. like, they, like I, the, the one that's low key that's going to save us is that little dude. What's his name? Gray Matter? I really haven't seen a lot of Ben 10. I Bro, just heard a lot. Gray Matter is the smartest, one of the smartest beings in the universe. Really? So I'm going to have him by my side, and we're going to create a way to take over the United States. We're going to build robots. To that's, that's, that's all I need. The government? No, I think King Kong. No, no Godzilla, Godzilla? Yeah, Godzilla has like hella enemies. Mothra and all that bullshit. But so. what if it's just Godzilla? Like you just you have a pet Godzilla. Godzilla's kind of OP, I'm gonna be honest. But like he might destroy everything. I gotta build yeah, everything back up. Yeah, but what if Godzilla want... helps? He goes like this, he goes. That nigga gonna Wait, knock shit this, over. This is a building, he goes, here you go, little guy. <laughs> Hell no, that nigga gonna knock <laughs> everything. No, I think over. I think Ben 10 is uh and then Xenomorphs got clipped by humans, so mid. Yeah, there's only five hundred. Yeah, no. I'm I right, so you going I think, ten, go, I think I'm going to go Ben 10. Ben 10? I think I'm going Ben 2, but 10,000 John, John Wicks. John Wicks is actually an army of John Wicks. crazy because John Wick moves, boy. That's stealthy. And again, I think he could actually kill exactly. the wrong Omnitrix or like alien. Oh. So honestly, look at my John Wick. Because it's like... John Wick, bro. Because like, like, if, if I want a clean way of doing it, I'll do the John Wick side. Because he can... That's 10,000 assassins yeah. that could just go and kill every every important person in the government on the man. Yeah, not John Wick, bro. John Wick. Nah, I'm gonna I'm I'm pick the Ben 10 Omnitrix just because that'll be more fun. And I want I want to see way big just fuck some nigga up and Gigantosaur just. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a hella pets. <laughs> I think that'll be cool. I mean, I, niggas gonna let me fly, bro. I'm gonna have bulletproof suits for everybody. <laughs> niggas, in the new America, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, so you have to survive 50 days in the wild for 500 million dollars. Which one are you choosing? The open ocean. Mm -mm. A desert, mm -mm. the jungle, or the Arctic? Jungle. The jungle? The Arctic's probably the easiest, logically. But I hate the fucking cold. I can't stand it. There's nothing worse than the cold. Literally nothing. Oh, um, low-key? Jungle. If they give me, all I need to do is just 
jungle nah there's jungle too much has more the, the most resources though but the jungle as dangerous as it is it has the most resources the most probably the most dangerous but you don't even like bugs i hate bugs that's but a you lot have of... to think about resource and efficiency the desert you are constantly scavenging for water constantly i mean all i, I could just ice fish in in arctic yeah good luck again you're constantly looking for shelter resource fire resource but like you gotta think about in the jungle that shit poison you got you can you you they could be poisonous. You gotta study up, bro. Like, do your homework on that. Nah, I think it I might different when you do your homework. I think I, if I have like a 30, 30 days to like train for, I think I'll do the Arctic low key. Just cause all I need is a, all I need is a tent, a coat, and a fishing rod, and nah. maybe a it may be a gun. Nah. I I just need to make sure to pull. The only thing I gotta worry about is polar bears and sea lions. You gotta worry about the weather, bro. And the weather might be shitty. That is crazy. But the jungle, like, it has the resource that you need at your fingertips do. at the cost of danger. Exactly. That's too like. All right. If you if we will rank the da- the most dangerous out of these four, what would be the, the rankings? Jungle. The jungle, well, the open ocean, the, the open, open ocean. ocean yeah. 100%. After being in the after being on a cruise ship, that shit is freaking nuts, bro. Like that shit just it don't look real. Don't, no, don't that shit look like. Like, that should look like I'm in like a sim or whatever. That shit is crazy. Oh, so just being out there by myself is insane. Nigga, the only sun, the only light at nighttime is the the, the moonlight. Yeah, no. and if and that's if it's yeah. So open ocean, jungle, jungle, desert, Arctic, desert, Arctic. Yeah, because I mean, Arctic desert poses the the least amount of threats. Because I think low key desert is kind of crazy. Desert is because crazy. desert get cold at night. Cold at night, and blistering it's heat, water source. Dangerous predators in terms of little things. Yeah, yeah. Rattlesnakes and so desert might be scorpions. might be up there more over the open ocean, low key. No, <laughs> no. you don't know what's in that bucket over there. <laughs> Niggas are insane down there. So you would so you would pick the the jungle. Yeah, I think. I don't so. think I could do that because for one, I've lived in the jungle for a week. You have lived in the jungle. Now, for a granted, week. better conditions than survival, but I think I can do it. So say you would have got lost. Oh. You I'm think you, dead. <laughs> you, you you're dead? Wait, yeah. which jungle did you in uh, Japan? It's in Okinawa. Oh, okay, yeah. so did, has any, have you ever had stories of anybody getting lost out there or some shit? No, because it's all pretty controlled, bro. You know, do constant head counts and everything. Like oh, okay, that. okay, yeah. okay. Oh wow, damn, bro. No, I, I don't think. See, I just think I'm just afraid that one the bugs, two. That's it's mad damp and like you're gonna have to walk through all the mud and shit like that and you don't know what's stalking you like you can see that shit like that shit like you probably you know that's just some thick ass freaking brushes hell yeah but I, I, I think I'm a, I think I'm gonna just take the arctic though no, I think I'm gonna take the I arctic I can't do the cold bro oh my gosh I can't man damn bro but, but you, you just remind me of a story bro this is there was a story <laughs> there was a story of a guy right that took shrooms and he was in he was in Afghanistan he took sh- shrooms by accident and got his whole platoon killed do you know you want to know how he did it so basically right terrible so, accountability bro, bro no 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 it's really bad so so he basically i can't remember the whole details of the story but i think he i think he it was like 11 11 people he was with 11 12 people in his platoon and there was stationed in Afghanistan at a place where it was like heavy from the from the Taliban, yeah. So I think he went on a scout one time, and he found a mushroom. I guess he either fell in it and like went in his face, or like he ate it or something like that. But he got he went hot. He got high. So like you know when you're on shrooms, you start yeah. loosening. So he went back in the camp, and he was like, "Oh, the Taliban's here! The Taliban's here!" He called in air support. He's like, "Airstrike! Airstrike!" And then he ran out of there. And then when he came back, he realized it was his own platoon. And then once he realized it, he he killed himself. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, yo, that's terrible. That's fucking nuts, bro. Like, at a, <laughs> that's the that's some crazy ass shit. Just imagine, you just chill in your bed, you just hear an airstrike coming for you. Like, what the fuck? Like, that. Yeah, it's worse for the it's worse for the nigga who did it. Yeah, I know because it's not it, like it wasn't really. I mean, it's his fault, but like, he was just out of the. He was literally out of his mind, bro. I mean. I don't know how true that is. Is it actually is that like concerned? Supposedly. Because, I mean, you got to think about it, right? If you're going out on a platoon, here's where I get nerdy, right, in terms yeah. of military. If you're going out on a platoon, you're definitely letting whoever you know or whoever you're speaking to through comms where you're at. Yeah. So they, I guess, damn, so I guess but maybe it's possible because cause they would know where you're at. So mm-hmm. if it's like, you're calling airstrike here, 
like, isn't this where you niggas are? Yeah. Maybe they wouldn't send it, but like maybe he's like, oh, we're overrun. Like, yeah, I think we're that's done. like you gotta just. I think that's what they were, he was like implying. Like there was there was all like it was nobody left, and then he came and he seen it was just his soldiers, and he felt really bad. <laughs> it felt really bad. Yeah. That's it. You just felt bad. That <laughs> that shit, oh my god! Like oh my god! That shit that shit makes you so sad, bro. And then I I heard another story about like uh, another platoon in Afghanistan that I guess it was. So you know, you know when you go on like night watch and shit like that. So I guess a guy was going on night watch and he thought he saw something. He thought he saw a Taliban. So he, he alerted people and he um he went he had people go out there and see what it is and there was nothing there. And he just kept he just kept seeing shit. Kept seeing shit, shit seeing shit and he thinking he hallucinating. Yeah. Until one time he kind of dozed off and he woke up and something popped up like like somebody was in like his station, scared yeah. the shit out of him. And then he called for a backup. And he was, like, he was like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, there's nobody there. Yeah. And then he's just like, he's just like paranoid. He don't know what the fuck's going on. And he's just seeing shit everywhere. And supposedly where they like did camp at was like a burial ground for some, like, I guess, group of people or some shit like that. And they, he was supposedly seeing ghosts. Like, it was a it was a whole crazy. I think a, that's just the stress of war. You think so? Yeah. I think so, too. Like, he was just like, um, is that is that PTSD? PTSD I think is a post traumatic stress disorder. So when something happens, or yeah, so it could be PTSD something. if something dramatic happened before then. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no. I got I got to look into. I might tell I might tell the story again because I think I, I I've missed a couple stuff. But I you know shit like that. I, I be I be watching a lot of I watch a lot of war movies and I watch a lot of like war stories about yeah. people. And there was a guy that he he was in Afghanistan. And he got shot in the head, but he had his helmet on. I think, and I think he he. I think he was cool though. Like he he lived from it, but he, they listed him as KIA, and they sent it to his family. So then the guy, so he was like on his normal like patrol. He's like, "Yo, I think you should call your parents." He said, "Why?" He's like, "Nah, just 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 call your home." So he called them, and then they was like happy to hear from him because like they thought he died mm-hmm. because like they didn't like realize like he was still alive after he got shot in the head. That's kind of crazy. And like he was telling about like how like he like he wasn't he was just thankful he was alive. Like he was. He was thinking about how, like, the coffee in the morning he drank. He was just thankful that yeah. he got to drink that again. But he didn't know, like, the other side of it. Like, people thought he was dead for, like, a week or two. That is kind of nuts. Yeah, so. It's... Nigga, war is a sick fucking thing. Yeah, bro. Sick fucking thing. Happy 4th of July, people. To all the veterans out there, shout out you, my brother, my veteran. I haven't fucking celebrated 4th of July in ages. As if, did you, I mean, did you technically celebrate? I didn't do shit. I mean, oh. What did I do 4th of July? I mean, didn't you and Chris and Bash went somewhere? Yesterday. That's they it. went to go see fireworks. I ain't go to them. They ain't get the invite. Fuck you, niggas. <laughs> I know. I see them niggas in Jersey City. Motherfuckers always hanging out. Never hanging out with me. <laughs> yeah, niggas went all the way to Baltimore. Yeah. How was that? Do what do. It was actually pretty good. It was actually... Yeah, I'm like... Bro, when we go to different states, man... Yeah. We always find cool shit. And when I think about it, what is cool in Jersey? Nigga, Baltimore is like a Mr. Fries, man. They got barcades, like like an arcade that... Are, or, a bar that has like old arcade games. Yeah, we have barcade. Where? In Jersey City. There's one by Rutgers. I'm not going down to that dirty ass place. Fuck every bitch from Jersey City. What the fuck? But um, like nah, bro. Just seeing not everything Jay, in different states. It's just so I forgot she's from Jersey. I forgot <laughs> she wasn't in the room, bro. Um, <laughs> but fucking like, nah, bro. Every other state just seems cooler. Maybe it's because we live here. That's how it is. But like when I think about other states, I go, oh, we go here, we go here. One like niggas like, uh, you know, I talked to a lot of people from across wherever. Mm-hmm. They're like, man, if, let me come to Jersey. Like, if I come to Jersey, what can we do? I go, I don't know. I mean, what that's, can we do? I feel like that's just how it. Like, you just get normalized to everything. Like, but you, what is everything here? Like Six Flags. Six, yes. Fuck Six Flags. Because some people don't got Six Flags. Six they have flag, other amusement parks. They uh the State Fair, the no, that dude, big ass. When's mall? the last time y'all niggas went to the State Fair? I mean, I, I stopped going because they don't do like the the the. They, they you have to buy like a pass pass now like there's no like dollar days five dollar days what yeah like they, they they're they're doing ass mm. after covid niggas trying to get their bread back up they was like you have to pay 35 straight <laughs> and then that's not including the rides or nothing like mm-hmm. that that's straight 35 like you came in i don't even think you could purchase tickets for rides like you got to purchase like an extra like it's like 50 for all the rides Mm-mm. like it's not like how it used to be like the last i think the last i don't know if we went i don't know if i went last year with jay i might have but it was it wasn't even as fun as it used to be like it wasn't all that 
Like we literally would just walk around. We went on one ride because every the, like the lines are so huge. What I want to do is though, mm. I want to go because we uh, we were trying to see if we go tomorrow. What to think? Fair, but that's for another. We'll talk oh, okay. about that later. But I want to do like we'll go to a fair, but like either like in like South Jersey or like the Western New Jersey because like the state fair travels. So like in the start of summer, we get the state fair up north. But then at the end of summer, summer down south, Jersey, they get the state fair. So if we want to go with UJ or something like that, that would be cool. Mm, no, or, yeah. or if you could find like a state fair in like New York or some shit like that, something different. Yeah. Or, because me and Jay, we're going to go to, I think, when's the 14th or 16th? We're going to like a, it's like a little smorgasbord shit. Like in, like a, it's like a. Smorgasbord is crazy. Like a. <laughs> smorgasbord. Like the smorgasbord is like a, a whole lot of food. So uh, it's like a, it's a food festival. Uh, oh, okay. So we're gonna go to a food festival. But like I'm saying, like we could go like there's like a we can look at Connecticut State Fair. It might be cool. We can go up there or some shit like that. Down. Yeah, we could do some shit like Always that. Just, yo, talking about food fairs, you know Victor? Yeah. That nigga got his food license, everything. Mm-hmm. Was making retarded bread off food fair or food fair. What is it? Food fairs? Yeah. Off his food truck. He has a food truck? He did. What happened to it? You don't have it no more? Well he he um he's doing the state police now. He's uh, almost done. Yeah, he's with was the it police. what kind of food was he making? Uh, Spanish food. I think it was like empanadas or some bullshit really? like that. Would buy them for like maybe two dollars, pre cooked, pre made. Oh, and would yeah. sell them for like ten, seven, fifteen. Oh, so he was he was finessing niggas, flipping the fuck out of empanadas. Wow, and it <laughs> pre made is crazy. Yeah, no, he didn't make them. <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy, yo. Yeah. But hey, so I mean, we could we could do some shit like that. I was thinking we could go to. Thrills in Connecticut. You ever oh, heard Thrills? No. It's a if you look, it was it was on TikTok. It was it went viral on TikTok. It was that shit. It has like it's like a op, uh, obstacle course. Me and Jay went like what? I love obstacle courses. Yeah, me. And- I want to cook you, Jay. Think <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try to pry it. Yeah. So we can go there. We can go there. Probably in like a maybe maybe. Cause I got I I, I start camp we can go next week. Yeah, we can go next week. We can see. Cause I start camp this week. Camp, nigga, what are you fucking twelve? No, no, nah, nah, like I'm a like oh, basketball. basketball? Camp. Oh, I was about to yeah. say, nigga, so if you're 12, watching nigga? this, sign up for Rutgers North Basketball Camp. If you're in the new New Jersey area, if you want to go see me and Tyrone, gonna be there too. So yeah, so I'm gonna be at camp for the Monday through Friday, but like it ends at like four. So like maybe afterwards we can go. So we can figure out some shit. Nigga, I'm down. You know me. I'm yeah. always down. Bash is always down. Yeah, no. Chris is hit or miss. It's just always down if he has money. Yeah. So we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, we bro. Look. That's that's so. the five. That's I'm that's the core five, bro. <laughs> fuck everybody. I'm sorry, bro. Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas are flaky as fuck. Nigga, UJ was mad at y'all because y'all didn't invite him to Maryland. Now I don't want to put out dirty laundry, mm. but I'm going to because I'm a hoe. Um, they went to the big time rush concert, yeah. right? Got him a free ticket. Well, they didn't get a free ticket. He bought it for him. Finally invited him out. Finally did what he wants to. UJ deed it. Why? Day of said didn't want to go anymore. I don't know the reason. I don't know the reason. I'm sure UJ had his good reasons. Uh huh. But if you look at this kind of cruise, like okay. you can understand. I can see both sides. Why UJ maybe didn't want to go for whatever he told me, and why, you know, them niggas is like I would never invite him anywhere ever again. Okay. And niggas got him a ticket. And he just deed it the day of. Did he buy? After it? finally reaching out and inviting him. But I mean, did he buy the ticket? No. Chris bought it for him. Oh, well. Hey. So I, don't get mad at me, nigga. <laughs> Leave your fucking house. Drive, okay? I drive fucking 30 minutes to work. I drive 30 minutes to Union. I drive an hour to go wherever I have to go. I drive an hour to Philly for that trip. I drive an hour to wherever. I don't give a fuck. I'm driving because I want to hang out with my friends. So if you really wanted to hang out with us, bad, you would take it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You know you would. Shit. Love you, man. Love you, though. Love you, love you, love, love you. Love you to death, bro. You're my worst nemesis, 100%. <laughs> All right. I got a question for you. You have just been, not even question, you have just been kidnapped. Yes. Crazy. All right. You, along with nine other grown ass men. I'm kidding. All right. Right? Envisioning it. So now, you're being forced to fight either the world's largest anaconda ever recorded <laughs> or the world's largest elephant right now. With And one only one of you guys get a knife. Which one are you fighting? Either the world's largest elephant right now, which is, I think it's, it stands about like 10 feet, maybe 10, 8, 10 feet, or the world's largest an- anaconda ever recorded. Like they genetically just created it again. And you got to fight it to the death. Let me see what we got here. I think it's. I, I, let, me, let me see. Because yeah. I can envision the elephant. I can't envision the anaconda. Because I'm thinking about some crazy stuff. <laughs> crazy shit. World's 
largest anaconda ever. Anaconda. The world's largest anaconda was a motherfucker. No, that's not true because I just saw one that was fucking two hundred twenty feet or something. Whoa, two hundred twenty feet. Okay, I lied. It says thirty. Think you can? The largest anaconda was reportedly thirty-three feet long. Thirty-three. All right, so thirty-three feet foot long anaconda. But it weighs eight hundred eighty pounds. By the way. Mm. Or the world's largest. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I was looking at another picture. This shit is fucking crazy. <laughs> Look, it's just like it's it's longer. Let's look at this shit, bro. What the fuck? Is, that's it? That guy, That gotta be like... That's not real. That's a fucking snake. Nigga, it's... Okay. Now, hear me out. If I'm in this scenario, I think I'm picking the snake. Am I crazy or am I bugging? No, this is real because there's more pictures of it. Look at that damn thing. That's the that's the largest snake ever recorded. Uh, Wait, it let looks me, like it. Yeah, let me check. Feet. Let me check. Largest snake. Largest. Oh, fuck. Largest and a conda ever. Mm. Yeah, 33 feet long. Got Nigga, that thing is crazy. I really, that thing is fucking crazy, bro. The. What's 227 kilograms? 8.43 meters long? What the hell? Tell me it shows 880 pounds. What's Almost eight? a ton. Almost a ton, my nigga. Versus what's the world's largest elephant right now? Listen. I think world's lar- big, biggest elephant alive is eight. Oh, weighing approximately 8,000 kilograms. The elephant from is believed to be the largest in the 8,000 kilograms. How big is that? Let me see. 8,000... Kg to pounds. How heavy is that? Seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand. Wait, seventeen. Th- wait, seventeen thousand pounds? No fucking way. Seventeen. Th- hey, you said eight thousand kilograms, right? Eight thousand. Seventeen thousand pounds. That that shit can't be right. Wait, hold the fuck up. Seventeen thousand pounds. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm like, I'm like really... In- Look up how much 8,000 kilograms is to pounds. Wait. I think I'm taking the snake every day of the week. <laughs> I'm taking that... Fr- I'm taking... But, yo, that's OD. Nah, that's I ain't insane. gonna lie. That's I'm taking that tons. snake. Ten, 10 adult humans to fight with me, and only one of y'all get a knife? This is yeah. this how we're gonna do it, right? Say it's like me and you, we got eight other niggas. I don't even want the knife. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want the <laughs> I, don't, I don't want the knife. Leave it to Bash. So... Those somebody with a knife, you have to stab it. You got to you have to constantly stab it and like take it out and run around with it. You gotta be the divert. Somebody gotta and then You gotta go for his eyeballs. Yeah, bro. go for the eye you gotta go for the eyeballs. We're gonna be a diversion. I'm not gonna be in the front though. I'm just gonna hold the nigga down. <laughs> you're not holding down an eight hundred pound snake, bro. Oh, you're you're somebody, taking that bitch for a ride. How many people do you think gonna die? I say a good three. Now here's what I'm hoping. He doesn't try to eat us, he tries to constrict us. So only one of us has to be constricted while the other one's just like but like, think about it. That's thirty-three feet long. That could fit two people in that motherfucker. Probably construct us all. That's what I'm saying. If, to be honest, he could really like if he really wanted to. But like, think about it. He probably strong as hell. Like, like, no, like his recoil snakes, shit. Snakes are stupid strong with their body. So yeah, it's, I'm snake. not. I'm not taking the elephant though. That's no, huge. seventeen thousand. How do you stop it? Wait, I, let what me. What did you even do to neutralize it? What? Like, <laughs> wait. Let me check the height of this motherfucker. That shit gotta be 10 feet tall, bro. Nah, bro. It's deep for us. The giant... Wait. Oh, wait, no. This is this is in history. Uh, it keeps saying... It says 13 feet. Yeah, it keeps saying 13 feet. There ain't no fucking way. 13 <laughs> feet, nigga? That shit not... Ah, I'm cool. But it's still, I'm taking a snake. I'm taking yeah, a snake. Yeah, snake all day, bro. I'm taking a snake. Lie to you. Nah, I'm cool. But... All right. I want, I want to talk about this one thing, and then I got one more question. All right. So, have... Have you seen that video on TikTok of that woman that was on the plane? Uh, no, no. I've seen it. I haven't seen the video, unfortunately, because every single time I see it, like, I'm in a place of bad connection. So I yeah. always see, like, this woman reportedly got off the plane because she saw the person next to her wasn't, like, a human or something Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So, like, all right, if y'all don't know, there was, a, there was a plane going. I think they was leaving from Dallas. And there was a woman on the flight. And as before the plane took off, 
She gets off and she runs away and says, nah, I'm not like, stop this plane right now. I'm not flying because that person right there is not real. First of all, you got to you got to you got to you got to call time out right now. Cuz who just says that? Nah, she's yurkin or that is not That's what, real. Because think about if you were if it was you in this situation. Cuz if you see something, you yeah, don't give I'm a fuck like, what nobody yeah. says. You know what you saw. Yeah. And you and like just to make a scene like that saying she didn't say he got a a bomb or yeah. somebody was talking about it. she she didn't say she had he had weapons on him or something like that. She said he was not real. Who I don't think anybody has ever said that in history <laughs> that this person is not real. That's like genuinely believing in How that. How do you think he feels? I I don't know. I see so <laughs> now be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so now there was another there was another guy that was on the flight that was three rows behind him yeah. that was on the other side. So what he said was that he seen him it was a it was her and a guy with in a hoodie, green hoodie. So he said that he seen them talking. Like she was talking to him but he wasn't saying anything. As in like he th- he says like she was like in a trance or whatever, but like she was like having conversation but he wasn't speaking no words. Like he was just like but he, there was like locking eyes, but she yeah. was still talking to him. And that's when when she got up and did all that stuff and she left the guy turned around and was just looking around, you know, looking at everybody, and he seen him, and the guy swore that his eyes, he, he winked at him, but he didn't realize the way he winked. Like, you know how you wink, like, horizontal? Yeah. He winked vertically like this. Nah, he swore. And there's a video. I don't know if they genetic, I don't know if they AI, because, you know, AI is crazy yeah. nowadays, so you don't know if it's real. There's a video of another passenger of the, of the guy, supposedly, green hoodie, and... They they pan to him and like he blinks, but he blinks like this, like vertically, like a like a snake. Like you know how like like lizards. Have they blink? not interviewed this nigga? That's what like where is he? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Where is he? Done any research on this nigga? Like where Fuck like where is this you guy? Freaked out. Look at this guy. That's, but like ex- like think about it. If you're like they're saying he's like a shape shifter, like reptilian type of people. Yeah. I don't believe in that stuff because like Mark Zuckerberg. Like yeah, shit like that. <laughs> but like think about it. If that was you on that plane. I'm going on social media like this is me right now. Like I'm not. She was bugging. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm getting some clout off this shit, nigga. But like nobody knows who he is. Does anybody have his picture? Does anybody? Yeah, that's what I'm Why haven't they released anything about that? Like it, like this shit's going. It's on CNN. Like they can find something. Damn. That's what I'm saying. Like what? Like like nobody just goes and nah, stops yeah. a whole flight because that's embarrassing. Yeah, no, it's really bad. Like white people don't care. But like in a sense of trying to like. Help not. But she says he wasn't real. What does that even mean? Like, like who's a bot, bro. Like, <laughs> like I understand, bro. But it's like, like how do you even like? If I would have heard that shit, nigga, I'm like, who? I might look. You not want to be on that plane. Oh God, I'm like, who's not real? Yeah. Which one? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting my camera. Inspecting that. I'm like, I'm like, yo, get him off the plane right now, cause I that's that is a crazy statement. Yeah, it's not. Uh, Accusing someone of not well, being a what if she was just yurking? I don't care how drunk you are, you like you can't make. I don't think people will make a scene like that. I feel like if you were drunk, you would like you would know you're drunk, yeah. and like you'd be like, oh, you know, I might be seeing shit. No, she swore this nigga is not real, bro. So I don't know. I don't know, people. <laughs> not real is insane. That you is call a crazy him a freak. You call him weird. He said sicko. he's. He, he, said he's not she real. he said he's not real. What the hell? <laughs> Niggas just like imagine he was real. He's just like, what if he's a normal? That's, that's like something <laughs> that happened to Bash, bro. He's like, come on, cuz. He's like, <laughs> come on, cuz, crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's real. But if he, I feel like, I feel like it's something weird though. Yeah. I feel, I feel like it's something a little iffy. Something weird out they there. They would have said something about him. I feel like, but the I fact feel like that they're not as fish. I feel like, especially when nowadays he he looked like a young dude, so he definitely has social media. Yeah. Maybe he just I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he might not be real. I don't fucking know. Just there, there might be there might be little people that's not real walking amongst us. I think there's bots in little this world. People. There gotta be. You never know. It's a little people. You never know. There might be people just walking around just to make sure everything's cool. Like there's like a random nigga. You never know. I don't fucking know. I don't think I don't believe in that reptilian shit though. I don't think I think that's a little bit of a stretch. Mark cool. Zuckerberg is a human or a reptile, bro. Well, I, I think I would. I him and him and Joe Biden are robots. <laughs> Joe Biden is definitely a bot. 
That that man is a bot. He like, can't be real. You, like, there's no way we let this nigga be president. How many more years he got in this term? One more. Got to be coming up soon. I feel like. Like, what has he done for us? No, no. I'm like, come on, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> the only thing I know is what like. Like, that's why niggas don't know about politics. They try to teach us nothing about politics so we don't know. Like, he's really doing some ass shit. Yeah. All right. I got one more question. So, a billionaire is willing... Wait. All right. I have one more. I have the... Have you watched Squid Games? Yeah. Okay. A billionaire is willing to give you $100,000 every single day for the rest of your life. You just have to survive his version of Squid Games. Dude. But you have to be top 10. You just got to be top 10. You don't gotta win it. You just gotta be the top last ten people standing. Um, that's cool and all until you get to the games where you rely on team and or literally luck. <laughs> what do you do? You got, but like like we said before, you manifest that you win. No, nah, you're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga. You're not, you know you're what not I'm saying? manifesting odd or even marbles, nigga. Nigga, that that red light, green light shit. I'm eating. Oh, that's, that's easy. Light. That's light. I'm that's getting. I'm winning work. that one. Yeah, but think about the rope the rope pulling game, tug of war. Mm. Cooked. Now because you got like, like me on your team. What am I doing, nigga? If you believe in yourself and don't give up, we could get there. <laughs> yeah, bro. So you don't think you, you would you try though? No, you wouldn't try I'm at not all. Risking my life, but yeah. Yeah, it's deep. A hundred k a day. You know how much you know, money see, that you're is? underestimating death games, bro. I am underestimating. That's my favorite genre of manga. I love death games. <laughs> death games are fucking vile. They are sick. <laughs> the games that make you play is nuts. Oh, man, bro. I, I think maybe at my lowest, but 100K a day. Is 360, insane. that's like what? Maybe, is that in the, th- is that in the billions? Or 365 million a year, maybe? Is three hundred sixty five million a year? Might be three hundred sixty five million. No, because it's three hundred sixty five million a year. Three six five zero 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 zero. Yeah, it's three hundred sixty five million a year. I think <laughs> technically. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That's nuts. Not worth. Not worth. No, I can't. Bro. I think I might do it. You're I think dude. I might do it. I might do it. I think I could try. Hey, I tr- Jay's gonna have to raise the kids alone, bro. <laughs> Single mom. <laughs> Damn, Damn, bro, that's tough. But you got anything else you want to talk about, bro? You got anything on your mind you want to speak about? Do I honestly? I think I'm free, bro. I'm finally free from negative topics. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think I'm good actually. That's good. I'm bro. happy now. I'm That's glad, a good thing. Glad <laughs> you're happy. That I have nothing more to talk about. My mom is gonna talk. My mom's gonna watch this and be happy because she was talking about you a lot. Really? She, yeah, she she watches every podcast, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. She got me fucking Arby's. Thank <laughs> you, thank you for that. But thank y'all again for tuning in for another episode of No Rex Podcast, episode number ninety six. Four more way. A month away from episode 100. We got a special episode from y'all. And afterwards, that's season two of No Regulars Podcast. episode Season two, episode 101. So subscribe to the Patreon. Only $5 a month. You want some new bonus content. New content will be up next Sunday. Not this Sunday coming up because you, we're going to have this podcast. Next Sunday, we're going to uh, we're gonna have new content. Um, merch coming soon. Yeah, I- I promise. He kept. I'm not. That's one thing I wasn't. I'm not. He's lying like shit. I'm not. I ha- I'm on it right now. Mm-mm. I got my designer. He's hell. He's cooking up some shit for me. He has to DM me back. Don't hold me, <laughs> cause I can. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, follow the socials. Jason B on Twitch. Yeah. Can you send me the link so I can put it on the? Do you thing? really want that? Yes. I got you. I'll send you the link. I can put. Hey, actually, that's one thing I do. I want to shout myself out. Please talk to me. I want friends. I love people. Why don't, um, you, why don't you go to Kick? Go with the black people on Kick. Because Kick's a scam, bro. Oh, you think it's a scam? Yeah, there's no way. There's just no way. Twitch is always going to be on top. Okay, so okay. Twitch will always be on top. So, so just, whenever you stream, just send it to me and I can post, I'll post it on like the Instagram. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know how many people watch the story? It'd be like 300 people. This nigga's oh, popular fuck. Yeah, hit me up on Instagram though. For real, for real. I, I, I respond to every single DM. You, I, I have niggas to attest for it. Every single DM. There's a person that doesn't even respond to me most times and not. And I still be. Uh, she, she said she passed her test or something. I said, congrats. <laughs> I remember you people and I love you people. Seriously. She likes every one of my stories. I really appreciate that. Real shit, bro. Shout out to y'all, man. We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.